right, today you are here to learn TCCC. Who can tell me what TCCC is? You. Tactical Combat Casualty Care, ma'am. Fantastic. Give that guy a star. I did not promote you. Caring for your teammate is just as important as fighting on the battlefield. And today the cadets of the 6th Regiment of Basic Camp learned that with their training in first aid. Burns, pretty simple. So we're going to talk about fractures. So I need everybody to do this. All right. Bring it Today we're going to be training uh, CIET cadets, so effectively it's their basic training phase uh, for cadets that are looking to join the Army and come in as officers and eventually commission. Uh, we run the first aid portion of that, so this morning they'll come out and they'll get four one-hour blocks of instruction on first aid tasks. Initially they're, gonna, they're all going to come in, they're going to group up, the, they're each broken down in their individual elements, they're going to get a briefing. Uh, safety and what's supposed to happen today, that sort of thing. This is real army medicine. This has been, this is, this has changed over time based on studies that we've been doing since World War II. All right. This is not a dumbed down class that we have given, you know, decided to give cadets. This is real army medicine. They'll be broken up into four groups. Um, they'll rotate through these stations. We have um, evaluate a casualty, which is where they learn how to evaluate a casualty, go through and identify what problems there are to fix on their um, casualty, assuming a uh, combat-related injury. Now, to make this easier, it's like a 50-50 kind of thing. You're going to secure the windlass rod for leverage, and then you're going to take the strap, right, be on the inside, and you're going to pull down and away. So secure the windlass rod, pull down and away. This is something that's not too new, but it's something that is we reviewed in school, so it'll be a nice review for me as well. Along with sitting down and writing notes, the cadets also received plenty of hands-on training. Use their hand as a kickstand, basically. I thought that we might get a chance to do it, but it was really cool to actually be able to pretend that we found someone who needed help and then go through all the steps and actually even do like the recovery position because that's something that we usually forget sometimes. You don't jam it in too far. What do you do after you measure it? What lubricants can you use? It's really important because this can be applied to actual combat situations, which is really important because this can actually save lives. It's something that we need as future officers in the military force, something that we'll definitely need out in the field as we head out there in a couple of days, and it's something that we'll definitely need as we step out into the military force and to our branches. Reporting from Fort Knox, Kentucky for the U.S. Army Cadet Command, my name is Altaf Nanavati.